Okay, so today we're going to be hiding a Windows partition on our Nautilus 3 sidebar. And I recently installed Windows 7 on my laptop, just you know, in case when I go back to school I need it. But um, I just like the fact that there's a device, you know, the partition just staring at me right here. And you can hide it. It's not too hard. It takes a couple of terminal commands, but, you know, it can be done. But anyways, first thing you got to do is mount the drive. Here's my Willow Windows stuff right here, so it's mounted. Um, anyways, before I get into that, I just want to show you the tutorial that I found right um, I'll put a link in the description to it it's, it's pretty straightforward you know it's not too hard um, it gives examples for you know NTFS or EXT 3 or 4 or whatever anyways like I said you mount the drive first then open up your terminal and uh, run the mount command right so when you run that <clears throat> you'll see at the bottom here your your devices or well, at least for me at least because I only have one uh, partition for Windows right four slash dev four slash sda1 right um, that's very important make sure you know where your windows partition is at um, if it's on sda2 or 3 you know it's that's just important if that's kind of confusing for you just go ahead and go to your disk utility uh, go to your hard drive wherever it's, it's living at i guess you know 320 is mine and um you know here's my windows partition and it tells me right here device dev4 slash sd1 and the type is ntfs right here so anyways once you get the number down um here's the instructions right here we have to go sudo mkdir we're gonna make a directory in our m i'm sorry mnt uh directory and we're gonna call it sda1 that's because that's what mine is if yours is sda2 put a two or a three or four all right so that's that's mine. Copy that. And let's go ahead and go to that directory just in case. Let's go to file system. MNT. So here it is right here. So you can kind of see what's going on. Let's get my terminal again. Paste that in there. Alright. I don't know if you've seen that or not, but it just popped up. So there's the directory we just made in our root directory, right? Now let's go ahead and edit our uh, F stab. I believe I'm saying that right. Copy. Paste that into there. G it opens as root. Now we gotta add uh, those lines at the bottom real quick. Let me uh, get this out of the way. Cleaning my mess here. <laughs> All right, so we got to add this at the bottom. So of course, if yours is, like I said before, if it's SDA two or three, make sure you put a two or a three or whatever. But mine is still, you know, SDA one. Right here again, SDA one, right? And TFS, that's important because it's a Windows partition. If it was Linux, it'll be, you know, EXT three or whatever. So copy that. All right, the bottom here, Go ahead and right click and paste that in and save it. And I'm going to go ahead and log out and log back in real quick. Save that too. And I'll be back in a second. All right, so I actually had to restart the system for it to take effect, but, anyways. Here it is. As you can see, it's not there anymore. It's just relocated. Um, as far as other drives, like um, like a USB drive or external hard drive, those will still will show up. It's just that one particular drive we don't want it to be shown is just, you know, relocated. But anyways, as far as our file system, it's in MNT. And here it is, SDA1. And here's all my Windows stuff. So it's all there. Um, you know, if, if that's too much of a hassle to get to that, um, we can just make a, a, a launcher for it, of course. So anyways, I do use the Fienza, Fienza, I think it's how you say it, icon theme. So I went out and I found a nice little, you know, icon for it. Um, this icon I'm going to use for my, my uh, launcher. So let's go ahead and put that somewhere else. I guess uh, control H dot icons. All right. Just drop that in there. All right. Launch your uh, main menu, right? Launch that. And I'm going to put in my accessories. So click on accessories and click anywhere in here. Um, new item so we're gonna call it I guess win 7 I guess uh, command uh, Natalis N-A-U-T-I-L-U-S space 
forward slash mnt forward slash sda1 and forward slash I believe browse for the icon all right show hidden files it's my dot icons there it is open all right okay <clears throat> close and just type oh there it is it just popped up there it is click on that and here we go there's all your window stuff right here so anyways that's one way of getting to it also you can you know just navigate to your users uh, find your name and see documents if you want you can just you know middle click it drag it out link here all right let's go ahead and cut that and throw that into my documents on Linux on my Ubuntu partition and that's another way of just getting into your Windows stuff right here okay so anyways uh, that's it for today and uh, see you guys later and oh, another thing before I go um, I try to revert all this process and I couldn't do it there's something minor I'm missing but um anyways <laughs> sorry about that if I can find a, uh, if I can revert the process, I'll just, you know, put an update in the description down below. But anyways, uh, see you guys later.